come follow the brick wall. It's your girl Eva K, and I'm ready to eat. Hey, who ready to eat with me? Who ready to eat? Come bread with me, let's break bread. Come break bread with me, let's break bread. We about to eat the food and get fed. Come break bread with me, let's break bread. Now bow your head, cause we gotta say that grace, cause we about to eat. We about to eat. Ah, I can't wait to eat. Let's eat, big girls. Are you ready to eat? Come eat with me and let's talk. I want to get all in your business. What you gotta say? What you gotta say? I'm ready to laugh and I'm ready to play. Come on and break bread with your girl in the cage. Let's 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 break bread. Okay. Hey, how y'all doing? I am your host. Eva K and I am here with Money Tree Mini. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? What's going on? Well, how you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling good. Besides the whole UT blunder, we good. We good over here. Baby, UT, that's a whole different story. Yeah. Look, and they got Alabama next week. They gonna get their ass. Or- no, well, huh? Nah, we still gonna be Alabama ass for sure. You heard it here first, Money Tree Mini. What man? I'm giving it. By seven, at least. When the last time have they beat Alabama? Why you, what, what they got to do it? Anything. Okay, okay. Anything. Okay. Uh, and the last two games, they just been getting mocked. We going to make a change, you know what I'm saying? I talked to, I talked to Pruitt. We, we working on some things. The quarterback situation is going to be straightened out. By Saturday, we're going to have a nice little game plan for Alabama because they really ain't talking about shit. Yeah, I said it. Anyways, honey, we got to say our grace because we got some Buddy's barbecue. We got some chicken, some potato salad, some uh, baked beans, and some corn on a cob. I don't like potato salad. Me neither. Not a fan. So Jabari can have that. Thank you, Jabari, <laughs> for the studio today. <laughs> Anyways, let's say our grace. Bow your head. Now we thank you. Now we thank you for our food, for our food. Father God, we thank you. Father God, we thank you. Amen. 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 So, Money Tree Mini. What's your name? My real name? Mm -hmm. Travel. Travel? Yeah. It Mm -hmm. means to work in some kind of language. It means what? To work. To work. I remember you from high school. Do you? Mm -hmm. You used to be real mean. Good memories. Mm -hmm. Um... I need an example. You need an example? Okay, so you, Albert, Anthony McAllister, <laughs> it needs to be some more people. You used so to be in the hallway. Everybody else. Okay. At Austin East, on the little front street. So Albert would be yeah, like, beep, 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 And if they <laughs> landed on you, like, oh my gosh, it was the worst day ever. I remember, look, this one story, it was after Christmas. And my mama had got me like some go-go boots with some fur on it. Yeah. And this was apple bottom. Oh, yeah, popular. that was hot back in. Yeah. yeah. And Albert landed on me. <laughs> and everybody just started laughing like I hated y'all. <laughs> Forever. The whole football team. But just, you knew you were still, like, you knew you were standing though, right? I thought I was. Yeah, but man. y'all proved me wrong. Albert was like, get her. I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to run and hide. Hey, all I'm saying, you can't put everybody in a crowd. See, that was a long time ago. Y'all some good yeah, men now. Definitely. We was just having fun. Right. So what you into these days? Uh, music. Really. Mm-hmm. Music, taking care of the family. That's okay. about it. Trying to make it to that next level. Trying to keep it going. Trying to stay consistent. Like, just keep trying to build. Period. I got you. So you said taking care of family. You got some cheering. I do, I do. I have a daughter and stepson. What's your daughter name? Malia. Hey, Malia, girl. What's your stepson name? Austin. Hey, Austin. Oh, I got a <laughs> Dallas. But, but, I don't know. I like Austin, but Dallas, just because of what it's associated with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The then, greatest football team. Oh, well, America's football oh team. Oh, yeah. But the Steelers got six championships. Who? The, the Steelers. <clears throat> just throwing it out there. I don't know nothing about none that. of that. I just know about Dallas. Just, uh, yeah, I'm, that's and that's what Cowboys fans do. <laughs> they they know all the facts. <laughs> all I know about is Dallas. Okay, I never do with nothing, but yeah, yeah. So, 
How has it been having a daughter? You in the music industry, and you know, like they say, you know, the music industry is male dominated, especially you're a rapper. Um, in the lyrics that some of the rap music. Yeah, I feel like maybe it used to be. Mm. But. What you mean by that? I mean, male dominated as far as like the artist that's out right now. Mm. Like, if you really do a real top 10 list of the artists that's popping right now in the hip hop industry, mm -hmm. how, how many females land in that list? You know what I'm saying? Really, like, because. I see what you see. Cardi, Megan, they really the ones that's running shit besides what, a Drake or somebody like that. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody else being as consistent as the females right now. Would you let your daughter listen to Cardi and Drake? I mean, Cardi and Megan? No, no way. From that good wow. Nah. Nah, man, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, that's not on my daughter's playlist. We got like the JoJo Papa. Oh, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. But nah, she's, nah. Why not? It's Why? just music. It's art. That's what you into. I mean, it's rated R movies. That's PG movies. Like you know what I'm saying. Every, I got you. Everything ain't for everybody. Now when she's turn eighteen, mm -hmm. and if she go back and listen to some music back in the day, um, she can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But until then, nah, she ain't. They ain't for her. They ain't for her ears. Gotcha. And when they and that's how thing when they made it, I don't think they was intending. They wasn't looking like at my daughter as a target audience. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I, know how true that is because they are. They know how TikTok is. It's geared towards kids. I feel like. So you hold them accountable for? No, no, they not my daughter. I have a three year old daughter. They ain't my daughter's role model. And that's what I'm saying. That's on the parents. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like you can't be mad at them for talking about. I know. like the song. Wings yeah, and Pizza, nah, baby. The, the beat banging, the videos, nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for an adult. For an mm -hmm. adult, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, I guess, like you said, through the TikTok and everything, how the world works, it amazingly gets spread it in places it probably. Cause most of the kids on TikTok are doing that song. And yeah. their kids, they're 11 and 12. Yeah, it's crazy. They don't yeah. even know what they're saying. At all. They're going to but they're gonna figure it out in like two or three years. And <laughs> 12, 13 year olds go to high school and it's, it's, it gets real. Like, we was in high school. Like, you know. I wouldn't know none of that, honey. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure you heard stories <laughs> about me, right? Like, <laughs> like oh, it was in the house. So how are your lyrics and your music? My lyrics and my music reflects on how I feel about life through things that I have seen. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't not here trying to tell everybody's story. I just know what I've been through and what I can talk about. So it's like, like, that's what I'm saying as an artist. I'm just trying to reach the people who feel like me. If you don't feel like me, you're more than welcome to never listen to my music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not offended by that at all. Because I'm truly just trying to hit the people who feel like me. And if you don't feel like me, it's cool. You know what I mean? But As far as, like, tragedies that you grew up seeing or, like... I mean, with my music, I would say... It's more of a broader scope. From my point of view, it's not so much. Um, uh, I'm not, I don't do too many firsthand stories. Mm. If I could put it like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just from a perspective of how I feel things should operate. Because for one, I never put myself firsthand too many times because it's, people are really going to jail off of their music. Like, you know what I'm saying? People like T Grizzly. Like, you know what I'm saying? They will pull that shit up on you in court. So it almost pays to be a real artist and really be creative and really get in there and describe shit a certain way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Regardless if I seen it or not seen it. You know what I mean? I tell people all the time, everything I do is 100% fiction, don't believe shit I'm saying. In my videos, if you ever see me with money, guns, it's not real, people. This is all <laughs> entertainment. Yeah. Okay. This is all entertainment. Like, 
straight up. This is strictly entertainment. But this is what I call the CYA policy, cover your ass policy. Um, so if they come after you, this um, is just entertainment. It's really entertainment. I have not seen none of that. I just heard stories that I flipped into another story. And it's doing relate to that same story. I got you. Yeah. So what about your clothing line? Because you and your cousin got a clothing line, right? Yeah, we definitely had a clothing line. Our clothing line is can be found on pop dash demand dot com. Mm -hmm. It basically consists of what we feel is fashion for. Like, you know what I mean? And just trying to present the best art creatively through fashion that we can, like and just try to create vibes of the environment around us. You know what I mean? So How long have you been into fashion? Uh, shit. All my life? Like, <laughs> I've been making clothes. Well, we've been making clothes. I ain't going to act. I ain't going to like this. T definitely is the one that just come up with ideas just every other day. Might not have enough for like a month. And one day he got like 10 designs. Got some shit on the way. He done ordered some things. He got a store on like. He's definitely the main one as far as the fashion forward, and he's great at it. He's so creative, you know what I mean? So now, are y'all clothes exclusive? No, not at all. We anybody can get it, you know what I mean? But we we do also offer services to other creatives that's trying to get on. Not even necessarily get on. They just want to get their clothes out there, or whatever. And we're mm -hmm. we're open to our ideas because I feel like. With everything that's going on at this point, we don't help each other. And, you know what I mean? What else, what else we going to do? You know what I mean? So with being an entrepreneur <clears throat> and being in the, the music in industry, the clothing industry, art period, um, and COVID hitting, how has COVID, you know, changed the way you do business? Marketing, really. I mean, because... Um, the main way that COVID kind of hit me head into twenty twenties, I had a couple of events lined up that I was planning on doing and everything. Mm -hmm. So of course, with social distancing, with social distancing, it just wasn't possible. Mm -hmm. So, and we we like to use parties and events and things like that to promote things that we have going on because I was planning on doing a whole distance release party and everything and what is it called listening party and stuff like that but and distance is the name of your song yeah it, i mean so you know it just so happened to work out with the name of the song to start off with but um yeah we had a, a bunch of things that we seen going different until that COVID hit which i'm sure a lot of people did mm -hmm. as far as artists and even major artists whoever you are as an artist Performing is one of the things that you enjoy to do, so just that creative side of it hurts, but you, you always got to keep going and just figure out how to rebrand and remarket, but yeah. Facts. So how is your social media presence? Like, are you on social media a lot? Are you doing videos so people know you see your face? You seem pretty shy. Uh, I ain't shy, I just don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't, don't fuck with you like this. <laughs> like, That's what it is. Yeah, what's the what's the word? Is that the word for it? <laughs> like for real, I ain't shy at all. I'm really not. If you talk to me and cool, it's just until you talk to me, I don't see no reason for us to talk if we ain't got nothing going on. Like I'm I'm not I'm not a big person on small talk. I don't do that half a weather squad type conversation. Got you, got you. If you, we don't have a reason to speak. Well, what but see, you're an about? artist. You're supposed to be more talkative. You know, you got to get your name out there. And that's why I make the songs. Gotcha. Let right. your music speak for it. Yeah. I, ain't, I mean, not saying that as far as, like, if somebody come up to me, I mean, because we used to do shows all the time, turn Thursdays and everything. People know 100. The song got done back in the day. What's turn Thursday? Uh, used to be, on, it was a show that showcase artists every Thursday. Okay. On the strip at the Long Branch, Good Times, Good Memories. 
a lot of y'all can vouch. But um, yeah, like so we had a lot of performances. We have a lot of performances under our belt. Mm -hmm. So one of the more popular songs I've done is a hundred. I get people that approach me like, what's up, Mr. 100? Just and act like they know me and I'm cool with it and I vibe with it. But as far as the everyday, I just, you know what I mean? I, I just don't see no reason to speak to anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It just don't make sense to me. I'm not, I'm not a nosy person. You know what I mean? I don't. Maybe. maybe I'm very nosy. Might, yeah, we might. Yeah. <laughs> Total know, opposite. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if we're on the same page. But what sign is it? I'm an Aquarius. Mm, okay. I don't know nothing about it, but I'm trying to figure out. So I'm going to look it up, see if I'm an Aquarius. I'm very passionate, you know, very talkative. That's how the qualities of Aquarius. Know. I'm not really into astronomy, I'm into Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I'm just you, with you. Said, I really don't know. <laughs> just thought uh, Jesus was like, hey. I really don't know. <laughs> you want to yeah. get somebody to shut up and stove Jesus? I don't yeah, know. It works. It works. You don't know how to take it sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Quiet. Are you in a relationship? I think that's what people really want to know. Because I want to know. Why mm -hmm. well, would anybody want to know if I'm in a relationship? Because no, we want to know you. Yes, yes, I am. I'm in a are you married, Norbert? No, nah, I ain't married. Not yet. Why not? For the longest I had. What's the right name? Yeah, it ain't the right word for that, is it? Like, it's the right man. word. You just ain't saying it. For a moment, I guess I had um, mm -hmm. differences with how I feel. So you didn't believe in marriage? Basically. Basically. I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Typical. yeah. Yeah, it sounds Typical like black men's stuff. But nah, but it's, but it's deep. It really is. It's deep. The way, because I, I feel like the way our current system is set up, I may sound, I ain't trying to sound like that, but this is how It I is what it up. is. That's yeah, your you know feelings, your thoughts. Can't nobody tell you that's wrong. The, but the way the world is set up and everything and what people perceive as marriage, it's not the same way I feel about marriage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you are truly committed, I believe there's some people out there that's living with that girl, been living with her for a while, struggling to have whatever, that are full blown, fully way more committed than married couples out here that's really just connected to each other and they really have each other back and they're really connected. Mm -hmm. But it seems like in this world, the whole marriage thing just throws a lot of things off relationships wise. And it's in America, it's set up like a business. It is, marriage is a business. It's a partnership. It is a marriage. You have, I, no, go well, ahead. No, continue, I, in please, my thoughts, continue. I feel like what you're saying is an excuse. Like you could be with but, somebody for 10 years and not marry them. That's no, an excuse. But how you, how you going to say marriage is a business? It is a business. Marriage. Marriage. Like love. You shouldn't you, marry just for love alone you, because you, you can fall out of love. You and your husband. Mm -hmm. Is a business. Yes. Yeah, y'all can have a business, but you loving your husband should not be a business. You understand what I'm saying? No. Like, it's a partnership. It's a business. We're raising children together. It's a partnership. Because y'all love each other. Some days I like him, but we will. I will always love him. But you know, some days you don't like your spouse. I just feel like you can't marry on love alone. I'm not. But that's when, I, why not though? Because when why I, not, why should I not be madly in love with the person I'm married? You should be, but I'm saying that should not be the only reason you marry that person. Why not? Does your woman pick but you why up not, with them? But why not? Because love fades. Love don't pay the bills. Love do not protect you. You know. Love mm -hmm. and respect and loyalty. I'm going to we got it. <laughs> Do you have a good relationship with your father? He just passed in August, but yes, that was my rock, my king. Did your love ever fade for him? Some days. Oh. He didn't do what I wanted him to do. You know, like kids. But, that, but that, that's what I'm saying. That's some kid immature type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But really. No, my love never faded for my father. Why can I not feel like that about my spouse? Why do I got to make it a business and adjust? 
Why can I not have somebody, a true soulmate, that don't care about all this other shit and this marriage business you're talking about? And not, we just not be madly in love with each other to where no matter what happens, no matter what you do, no matter what I do, we're together. We're already one. What's so, that mean? No matter what you do, you, you got to be no, careful not, with the words you say now. Cause, not, I'm not talking. Are you going out here throwing your mean, oil? Are you having bags for one, and cheating? For one, for one, no. No, no, not saying that. But for mm -hmm. one, people make mistakes. Mm -hmm. men, what kind of mistakes? Because cheating men, is not a mistake. You you don't want to go down this road with me, <laughs> me and now, because no, cheating no. is not a mistake. No, you don't I, I'm, not, calling I'm somebody not, else. but I don't want you to get me out subject either. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying like... I'm going to let you talk. <laughs> so I'm saying, why can't we not be so committed to each other that no matter what happens, we already come as one, as a package. And when I say what you're into and what I'm into and whatever you do, whatever I do, meaning... When I do have a business, or when you do have a business, or mm -hmm. when you're taking care of the kid, or whatever you're doing, or whatever I'm doing, we're both doing it. We're just that connected. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what marriage was originally was mm -hmm. before it became a business. And I'd rather have that than feel like I should get married because it's But a if you have all that, why not put a ring on it and seal it? You know, give her your last name, which is what a lot of women want, is their mm -hmm. man's last name, to feel that protection, that love. If you have all that, why are you dating me for 10 years and not giving me your last name? I mean, sometimes it takes time, I guess. I, mean, I ain't got all the answers. I ain't, I ain't that guy. Like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Listen, because you about to get off subject, because I will fight you about this subject. <laughs> I feel like if you love me, marry me. I'm not trying to be no Oh, now it's about her. to love. Now we about to what, love. You, that's what you're saying? You yeah. love her and everything, but y'all can be together for 20 years no, with no marriage. Saying, no the, way, the way the world is set up, women's... We can, we, we can dive into it. Women's head is not like their, their interthinking is not realistic. Like some, some, some... The way some women... Some women... Mm-hmm, some... Not everybody operate and still expect to be a wife. A wife, it's unrealistic. Like we gotta really evaluate what a wife looks like. Like, let's be real and let's just be serious about the situation. What do a wife look like? I don't know. I mean, I, I know what my wife looks like. I ain't about to sit here and just act like. You know so, do I mean? you believe in monogamy, or do you feel like, which is just a man and a woman together, or do you think it should be polygamy with multiple women and a man? What do you think? I mean, do you I think, think one man just, can, um, Could you be with just one woman the rest of your life? Yes. Okay. Oh. No problem. What about you out there, Willie? Arsenio mode and something oh, yeah, Oh, I'm you're like married. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love love. That's my man. Ask him how long he known his wife. How long you know your wife? Uh, since two thousand four. Okay, so y'all high school sweethearts. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wife. I love that. What about you, Jabari? Well, some things stay tough. <laughs> he like leave me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions, Jabari? <laughs> Marriage is beautiful. This is my, oh, uh, is this beautiful. my question. Why, man, when marriage first started, they picked your wife for you? They ain't never get children. You talk about like, in some cultures still do that. They yeah. pick your spouse. That's because of the diary that, that your spouse, you know, family can bring to that relationship. Like, if you poor and you marry rich, or if you, you know, you rich, you marry rich, so you can keep that money in the family. That's why I feel like they choose arranged marriages. Because they know who you're marrying. And that because it's a family business. can give you money. It's a business. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The whole thing is a business. I'd rather really just be connected. Okay. You want some spiritual yeah, earth about I guess this. so. Maybe. Maybe. Let's talk about the music. Because, see, I'm surrounded by men. There's no women here to back me up. So, <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> 
with my time looking like your boy. Twenty-four. Twenty-four minutes. Look. Uh, that was a quick little twenty-four. Good. Don't even seem like we've been bobbing. Yeah. We've been arguing a lot. Yeah. Yeah, talk about it. I'm saying this 1792 here is so different. <laughs> my stuff oh, what I'm, saying? <laughs> Ooh, like, I'm trying to hurry up so I can really uh go up a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, talk to me. Oh. So what's next? Where do you see yourself in the next year without COVID, you know, say the COVID restrictions or Lift it. What do you see yourself doing? Shows. Mm -hmm. Like, just out here with the people, trying to connect with the people, and just out and about. I think that's what a little bit of everybody want. Like, just to vibe. Like, you know what I mean? Just let me feel some different energy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just trying to real life thing. I'm just trying to connect with anybody. That goes for like any artist. I don't care if it's a painter, rapper, guitar player, engineer, beat maker. I'm just trying to create and create and create. I just need, like in a year, I just want to be surrounded. In a year from now, I want to be surrounded by that vibe. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's trying to do anything, I ain't going to necessarily be better, but just trying to grow as a person and just create life that's around me, period. Perfect your craft. Yeah, exactly. Just do it. I, 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 I guess I just want to be around passionate people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just people who really love waking up and doing what they're doing. I'm trying to be around that. I'm trying to get phone calls like that. Like, yo, what's up? What you doing? Well, I got this going on. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be on that vibe, that kind of time. So let me tell you, I heard your music on the radio. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to hear yourself on the radio? Shout out to ninety nine point seven. Straight up, shout out to Mullen Brooks. I mean, it feel it feel like you made it. You know what I mean? I think for every artist, your it, it got to be somewhere in your goals or on your timeline to want to hear yourself on the radio. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like pretty, like it, it, it hits different. When you're riding down the street, which I just so happened to be doing last night. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit, I, was, I heard that shit last night. But like, oh shit, got the phone. And I mean, put it out, recording, rapping, spitting it. Got to the end, um, photo like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. <laughs> that happens. What do you know? <laughs> anybody that appreciates what I do so so now are you a full-time entrepreneur like are you full-time in your music and clothing line or yes 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 very much so full-time in clothing line music CBD shop CBD shop we ain't talking about this hold up what we ain't you know, the green room that kind no I ain't talking about that. this no See, you see how your people do you? We went to the same school. Everything. Listen, right. you got to be out there. You so shy and laid back. I need you to give me some rock. So you got a CBD shop. You got your music and you got your clothing line. Yes. yes. So you out here doing it. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I'm just trying to make it. You trying to make it, but you still out here doing things that most of us wish we could do or have time to do or have the finances to do. So tell me something about your CBD shop. Because I like CBD. Do you? Mm -hmm. I mean, you might want to holler at us. But um, we're more so like um, a wholesaler. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, you might go to a store and find our product in there. You know what I mean? We don't. And we're online too, but we don't necessarily have like to pull up and 
get your CBD needs. Mm -hmm. right? We're not that spot. You know what I'm saying? We're more. And what's the website? We're gonna to have to put that in the description box below. Uh, thegreenroom.com. Hit it up. You can order. We deliver. Yeah, we're starting to deliver you up too. So, like, that's what we're trying to get into next. To where when you do order from us, like if you did, you know, so I guess you know. What I mean, we can pull up on you and bring it to you personally. So you know, they say a millionaire has at least seven streams of income. I heard that. So is I that what you're that. trying to get to? Nah, not necessarily. I'm just trying to do things that I'm into. You know what I mean? It's it's. I learned it's not about the money. It's about doing what you love and whatever else will come later. You know what I mean? That's not the focus, though. That's real. So let me ask you this before we go. How do you think it is being a black man in America in today's climate with everything's going on? <laughs> Um, it's a tricky situation. I mean, because a black man in America, I mean, you can, me as a man, pray, if you take the race out of it, mm -hmm. I can do whatever I want to do. You know what I mean? So I feel like being a black man in America is difficult, but if you just set your mind and your mentality on doing the right things and operating out of love, regardless how you're supposed to operate, your world will be surrounded by that because the world is just the energy that you give up. The world around you is the energy that you give out, period. Mm -hmm. Like, because honest to God, a person really can Stop social media, stop the news, stop looking at everything and just focus on their family and friends and their community that's around them. And they will not, what the news and media reflects and Facebook reflects will not involve you whatsoever. You would never know about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, ask me what it's like to be a black man in America. It's tricky because there's so many different sides and aspects of it. I can't. I can only speak on me. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for his experience, his experience. You know what I mean? Like, I can't speak on everything. But we all know the history. Gotcha. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So speaking on your community, do you give back at all? Do I give back? Mm -hmm. uh, not really, I guess. If you, Would if you give you, your music? I mean, yeah. I mean, I was saying, I don't, I don't know what you consider it. I don't know. Like I giving up your tax money for. My... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like it don't always have to be financial. It could be uh, I mean, community service. I, 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 it could be. Just... I think anybody who knows me know that knows exactly who I am and what I'm about. Anybody. Got you. Got you. Got you. Well, I had fun with you today. I'm not gonna keep you long, but if y'all want a part two. With many, you know, just let me know and I will bring him back. We want to come see one of your performances, though. I know, right? I know. Me Whenever too. all this me is too. over, <laughs> 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 when all now, this is over, because I'm rooting for you. No, I'm, I'm honestly, um, you know what I mean? It's a, they having presidential debates and this shit out here popping, and Trump having rallies. I'm about to put something together, like just, you know what I mean? You of need to. Try to keep it safe, but. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely time because it's that time, basically. Even if it's just e increasing your online presence, you know, yeah. do live video. We yeah. love a good drama and a good live. And see, that's the whole thing. I guess that's my problem. I'm, I'm, I don't have a lot of that going on. We're going to have to team up. I'm going to have to team up with Money Tree because I like mm -hmm. Money Tree. I appreciate it. Money Tree like been around a long time. Like we have. We really have. Thank you for putting it. Years and yeah. emphasis on long and time. Yeah. But, yeah. Free Bill Roo. Definitely free. Freedom. <laughs> free to own. Every day, freedom. The day one. Yes, right. but look, we're going to get together. I'm going to make sure they online presence because I like you. I, I like your music. I like Distance. I like the song. You know, here you on the radio is dope. Just like Naya, Naya G from Tennessee. Yeah, definitely here shout out to Naya. Yes, Naya. Sorry. it's dope. Sorry. I love. 
local music. Yeah, I do too. And it, we got a lot of we got a lot of good local music. We really do. We, we got help for years. Keep supporting the home team. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that's doing anything in my city. And Don't I mean give that. up. Don't yeah, let sure. the pandemic make you give up. Yeah, this is hard this, times right here. I mean, and honestly, I feel like if you didn't get right during the pandemic, then maybe it's not meant for you. <laughs> that's true. Is that? that that's true. That sounds like something. Like, no, for real. Nah, but I do. Like if if you had all that time to yourself and you didn't want to do something or anything you're passionate about, then you're not really trying to do this for real. And that's how I feel. This is my passion right here. Just talking to my people. Mm -hmm. You know, getting their business down the streets because that's yeah. what I like to do. We gotta spread for the business. <laughs> <laughs> Look, gotta be up in people's shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, nah, ain't nothing wrong with it. it really, ain't. it's all it's the culture. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, it's been real. We about to get out of here. Peace. And all his links will be in the description box below. Yeah. Subscribe, Money Tree Media. YouTube. Yes. Please. We got to get them subscribers up. Yeah, definitely try and get the subscribers up. I'm low, low right now. Thank you, Jabari.